What's up guys, the Lazy Goldmaker here with another video. Today, I'm gonna shoot the holy cow farming. Uh, well, well, I'm gonna tell you why I don't farm, which is... Uh, and why I don't think you should be doing it either, necessarily. Um, so of course, as most of you know, or probably should know, I don't farm at all. I make a ton of gold, I don't farm for any of it. If it's, if I need to farm something to craft an item, like it's buying and pick up, I'll probably not craft that item. I don't do farming. The main reason I don't do farming is because I don't like it. Um, and I also have made this entire video to rationalize why it's not optimal. Um, because I don't think it's optimal, unless you like farming, because, let's face it, it's a game, so you're supposed to have fun. So if you're having fun farming, then all power to you, go farm your ass off. There's also some situations where farming can be optimal if you're out of gold. But outside of that, you probably shouldn't. So we're going to look at some examples. We're going to look at some examples. Um, and uh, how much gold per hour you can make, which is sort of the main the main thing we should care about, right? Gold per hour. How much gold am I making for the effort I'm putting into the game? Uh, so we're going to look at farming currently in Shadowlands, and we're going to look at uh, um, probably the best crafting market right now, which is Crafter's Mark uh, 262 gear. We're going to compare to gold per hour, and uh, you'll see some stuff. So, for farming, since I don't farm at all myself, well, I have to look to some other creators um, to get some ideas about what you can get. So what we're going to take a look at is this Sanserful video, it's linked in the description, um, which according to that you can get about 5.5 to 6 progenitor essentia per hour if you're farming in Sereth Mortis. I'm going to round this up to 6 in my example, um, to be nice, we're going to be generous. Uh, in addition to this, you'll get a large amount of herbs, ores, and other materials. Now. I struggled finding accurate data on like how many herbs and ores he was actually getting. I couldn't found it, find it in any of the other videos on the same farming spot either that I looked at. Um, so I hope you do that in the next videos then. Uh, so I'm really interested in that as someone who doesn't farm. Anyway, what he did was he estimated the value at 10,000 at the time when the video was recorded. Um, this was on the 31st of March. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale down the value of that 10,000 based on how much those material prices have fallen since then. Uh, and we're going to base the Essentia price on the current price of Essentia on Draenor. And when we put all that together, as you'll see, um, this comes out to roughly 30,000 gold per hour on my realm. So that's pretty good. I'm sure many of you are super happy making 30,000 gold per hour. Uh, but now we're going to take a look at Crafter's Mark gear. Now to figure out how much gold we're making per hour with crafted gear, that's a lot of factors to consider, and we'll try to consider all of them. Uh, so what I did was I did a crafting session, restocking, leatherworking, and tailoring Crafter's Mark gear, based on what I was, uh, was missing. And uh, I crafted almost all of them with missives, except for the cape, which I don't bother using missives for. All of them with crafter's mark of the first ones, all of them with AI, like harmonizing stones. And I bought all the materials, and I crafted the marks, and that's what I timed. Uh, I bought the missives, I bought, well, I sent over the AI, like harmonizing stones. I could have bought them, could have included the crafting time, which wouldn't have massively mattered. Um, but the, the numbers shook out to 16 minutes. And 56 crafted items. So that means, on average, I spent 18 seconds crafting each uh, crafter's mark piece. Um, so that's the crafting part. Now we have to figure out how much time do you need to actually sell these items. So I've timed the post scan. 57 items. This took me 1 minute and 53 seconds from the moment I started logging onto the character until I was done with the, craft with the post scan. And typically 10% of my items sell when reposting, which means for that 1 minute 53 seconds, I would sell 5.7 uh, items on average. Which leaves us with another 20 seconds of time spent reposting per sale on average. So that's going to leave us at 40 seconds of crafting and posting time per crafter's mark of the first one's item. Based on, on real data. So, with 40 seconds of total time spent per item, that means I have the time to craft and sell 90 items per hour. Um, so that's a good chunk. So then, to figure out how much gold per hour, then we just have to take the profit per item. Now, as I know for these items, my profit margin typically varies between 1,000 gold up to 10,000 gold. 
Um, so for the sake of this uh, example, we'll assume about one third sells at 6,000 6, gold profit and the rest of them at 2,000 gold profit, uh, which will leave us with an average of uh, 3,300 gold per item. This would put my total profit per hour at uh, just under 300,000 gold, 297 to be precise. Um, so that's some pretty good money. Even if I was just making my minimum profit margin on every item, so about 1,000 gold, we'd still be making 90,000 gold per hour, uh, which is still going to be three times the profit margin that what we are making from farming. So uh, this is still blowing it out of the water. This is much, much better. Um, and this is why I prefer <laughs> using crafting professions to make my gold. Now, obviously, I can't scale this forever. Once I have one or three of each stat variant, there's no real point in crafting more until I sell some. I can, of course, do cancel scans, but I don't. Uh, which means that after I spent these 20 minutes restocking and reposting everything I've done, then I really don't have anything else to do in that market. Which is the limitation of auction house based gold making and crafting based gold making. When I, once I've done that, I need to find something else to do. Um, but then I'll just add another crafted market. I'll add blacksmithing and jewel crafting, do the same there. And once I've tapped out on all of the highest profit stuff, I'll go do something else instead. I'll do craft old world mounts, I'll craft something else. What if you're starting out? That's a very major point. If you have 10,000 gold to your name, you're going to be able to craft two pieces of, <laughs> of leatherworking gear. And now you're out of gold and you can't do anything. This is where you have to farm if you want to accelerate. Uh, simply put, if you're broke, if you really enjoy farming, or if you're super, super rich and you've already crafted everything you're going to want to do that week, like I've crafted all of my, my main markets, then, then you should be farming if you want to completely optimize for gold making. Um, if none of those apply to you, then honestly, there's no point in farming when you can't do crafting or, <laughs> or flipping instead. That's just my opinion. And uh, that's why I, I find it interesting that gold making is literally just farming, farming, farming. All of the content creators, farming, 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 farm this spot, farm that. No, don't farm. Go craft Crafters Mark 262 gear. <laughs> it's way more gold per hour. Way more. Seriously. Um, so that's really it. Disagree with my methods, disagree with my calculations. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure we can look up some other markets as well. There might be better farms out there that have higher gold per hour. There might be better crafting markets. There might be worse crafter mar crafting markets. But even at the worst case, I know I'm making more than a thousand gold profit per item. I know I'm making way more on average because I'm selling a lot of these for five to seven thousand gold profit. Um, and uh, it's blowing farming out of the water. Into